So this is my lovely planting patch. So as you can see, it's flowering and it's sealing at the same time. It's actually have this really beautiful fluffy flower. Um, so it's around 20 centimeters high from the ground. And then the flower is like another 40 centimeters uh, high. So it's been on um, the ground for roughly around uh, two years now. So this is like the second year that it's actually bloomed. So it's uh, perennial and it's annual. So what it does is that it's seedling now, it's died down and by spring it will sprout and they have a new flood of like uh, plant growing. So what do I use uh, plantain for? Uh, you can actually use them in um, internally like as a herbal tea or you can use them um, just infused it with oil. So you use oil to extract it and make it into ointments because it's actually extremely useful for like a wound, like, like ulcer, uh, fresh wound, that sort of thing. Uh, with the dry leaf, you can actually, um, no, the fresh leaf, you can actually crush it and put it in an ointment and I'll put a little bit of like um, beeswax in it, make this quite um, uh, dense together. Like you can make, basically, pretty much you can make them into like a balm. And when there's like a fresh, a small like um, bleeding wound, you can actually apply to it, uh, apply on top, uh, put some pressure like band-aid on it and then it will help with like reduce the bleeding and help um increase platelet into the, the area and that is how it speed up the healing process much faster so it's have like the astringent sort of like effect and not only that it have that weird sort of like um uh antioxidant that aggregate the the, the blood circulations and sending all the media into the wound and the platelets and then it's healed it up much better. So if you understand the cascade of coagulations and then you understand why this is really important that plantains actually work only a topical sort of like uh, wound or localized wound, it works really, really well. Um, it is not advisable to use for arterial bleed or deep bleed or anything like that. Um, if, some, if you have experienced that sort of like deep bleeding and arterial bleeding, um, it's best to put in pressure and go to the near emergency center and then get it checked out and stop the bleed um, in that sort of way. So like I said, the, the whole plant is usable. You can use a root, you can use a leaf, you can use the uh, dry seed pots and you can use them all in medicine. You can use them as uh, extractions in uh, herbal medicine as a tincture or oil sort of like um, pulling or a savage and so on. It's absolutely wonderful to use um, to actually a diversity sort of like herbs. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the second year that actually spread everywhere. So today I'm just going to harvest one of these dry flower heads. <laughs> Don't know what I want to do with it yet. But I feel like I want to grow some more and let it spread some more. So they are actually naturally uh, spreading themselves. So I don't need to worry about like uh, regrowing, resealing or uh, anything like that. So yeah, when you have a chance to grow this sort of particular beautiful plant, please give yourself or themselves an opportunity to grow. And if you don't want it to spread, just keep them in a control area. Like I said, control area. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very beautiful plant. I think I have a giant uh, plant and sort of like variety because the leaf is actually massive. Like, it's from 20 centimeter long. So, it's a big plant. So, uh, the soil here is not that great, like I said. So, if we have a better soil and we're well trained, it, it will be growing much bigger, like a half a meter's plant. Anyway. Hope you have a lovely day and thank you for watching. See you next time.